Eulabus came to the University of Iowa to attend the renowned Iowa Writers' Workshop. Coming from New York City, Biz found the culture of a state school's campus to be shocking, and not necessarily in a good way. In her essay, Eula Biss comments on the nightlife at the University of Iowa. She says, quote, the rituals of that town, a town in which the population doubles while the university is in session, became only more foreign to me the longer I stayed. The chanting on sorority lawns, the parades, the groups in matching t-shirts that read, Pharmacy Bar Crawl 06, or Ted's birthday. The shivering girl is hugging themselves and clicking down the street, bare-shouldered and drunk in February. In this moment of the essay, Eula Biss is commenting specifically on the strangeness of sorority life, sorority girls, and their rituals. Now, I would like to defend the chanting on sorority lawns. First of all, it is only done in one week of the entire school year, and that is during recruitment. Also, sororities all across the U.S. participate in this ritual, so it is not something unique or negative to the University of Iowa. Another troubling moment in the essay is when Eula Biss compares her education, which was a bit more expensive, to the education at the University of Iowa. She says, quote, having absorbed something of my father's great reverence for knowledge and being aware that less than a third of the people in my country could ever expect a bachelor's degree, I was tempted to believe that to waste a college education was a sin. But I knew that my students were not being offered the kind of education I had enjoyed as an undergraduate. That was much more expensive education. And while it might not be, have been better, it was more indulgent." End quote. I disagree with the ideas that Eulabus is presenting in this moment because she's insinuating that just because she paid more for her education, that she got more out of it and that she took it more seriously. I think that is a massive generalization to say that people who pay less for their college take it less seriously. A lot of people come to the University of Iowa because it is affordable and a great education. Eula Biss continues in this moment by saying, quote, I also knew that my students were not all wasting their education and that some were waiting tables or installing air conditioners to pay for it. I knew that I owed them a complicated debt. Here, I think Eula Biss is backtracking on her previous statement, saying that people were not taking their education seriously. Although I'd like to give her the benefit of the doubt that she does understand people take their education very seriously and are working very hard to pay for it, but I don't think she realizes how many of those people there truly are. From my experience, almost everyone I know works some type of job to make money that goes towards their tuition or their other organizations. So to suggest that only a few are the ones working very hard, I think, is a miscalculation. Later in the essay, Eula Biss makes a claim that Iowa City is actually a very dangerous place. She starts to compare it to New York City, where she previously lived. She said, quote, I told them that, yes, men had harassed me on the street in New York, but no more than the frat boys in Iowa City harassed me as I walked past their houses. In fact, I told them, I found Lucas Street on a Thursday night with all the hooting from dim porches and the boys smashing beer cans to be significantly scarier than anywhere I had ever been in New York. They didn't quite believe me, but I was telling the truth." End quote. I agree with Eula Biss's students that this is very hard to believe. I think that this may be an over-exaggeration, simply looking at the crime rates between Iowa City and New York City. Maybe that was her experience. Maybe she lived in a certain neighborhood in New York that was safe. But it's hard for me to believe that such a big city full of so much crime could even be comparable to Iowa City. Toward the end of her essay, Eula Biss talks about a storm that ravaged through Iowa City while she was here. She says, quote, And in the dark silence after the storm, the streets filled with students carrying plastic cups of beer and digital cameras, wandering past the live wires and the gas leaks and lighting cigarettes. Some students dragged a couch into the street and sat on it, while others gathered around cases of beer in a parking lot. Now I agree with you a bit that this was probably not the right reaction to a huge storm. It was probably dangerous for those students to go straight out into the streets, not knowing what the destruction was like. But what I disagree with is that she thinks that this was so significantly inappropriate that she was so shocked by it. She was saying that she wished the students had been more helpful in the after the storm. But I wonder if there was anything that students could have done. 
There was so much destruction and it was so severe. Roofs were torn off. What could a student do about that? So if you think about it that way, the students simply had no choice but to just accept what had happened. At the end of her essay, Eula Biss comments on how slow the response was to the storm that had previously occurred. She says, quote, It was sobering for me to watch as the months passed and the houses on Iowa Avenue still stood vacant. How difficult it was for the town to recover and how different spring looked with half as many trees. When I left Iowa City three months after the storm, small scraps of metal and bits of insulation were still hanging in some branches. Blue tarps covered roofs on Iowa Avenue. I think here Eulabus is critiquing how slow the city was to act in the face of the storm. However, I think her perception of it was very skewed. Blaming the residents seems like an inappropriate thing to do, for they did not have control over it. Or blaming the city even, who probably was trying to recover, but it was such a destructive storm that it took a while. I think that her attitude was so cruel after people had lost homes and cars and other valuables. You may have gathered that I don't particularly enjoy Eulabus's essay, Is This Kansas? I think that her attitude toward Iowa City is uncalled for and unjust. Given her experiences, she jumps to a lot of conclusions that I don't agree with and that I don't see on this campus today. Let me know what you think and check out my blog at iowamadeblog.com. Thank you.